Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Okay, good afternoon and welcome here to the Fred Pickett Junior Gymnasium, a.k.a. the Clip Joint for girls varsity basketball. We have the Lady Lions of Pencrest taking on the Chester Clippers, and we already had the tip. And a rebound for Chester's number 25, Henley. Bose is going down the court. Bose wearing a different number today. She's wearing 15. Rebound for Chester. And we got a three-second violation on the Lady Clippers to start us off. Watching today's broadcast, Chester's wearing today the road black uniforms, the black numbers, orange trim, pen crest, and the gray uniforms, red numbers, yellow trim. And the left for pen crest, number 13, Kira Kershey. And right now, pen crest like that in the one, two, two trap. Both gets through it, drives on the right side over the hall. In the hall of the traveling violation. Again, you're watching today's contest on cmpradio.net. Side out Pencrest. The ball into Kershey. Kira Kershey's out there also with number five, Anna Gadu. Kershey's up top dribbling, puts it off a screen from Gadu. Just a defense a little bit live day. Number 21 for Pencrest. Takes a shot. That's Chloe Griffiths. Now number 11 with the ball, that's Bailey Garrison. Still with Chester is, is Boast. Boast is great, Plop, do a Steph Curry on us. Sky hog the ball. Swing it back to Hall, back to Boast. Shot by Boast. Rebound for the Pancrest is number 11, Bailey Garrison. And she drives up down the middle. Left hand drive, tosses it back out. Rebound Chester, and we have a quick foul. That foul's on pen, Chris number five, Anna Gladu. That'll be the first for the team, her first. Bosa's is taking the ball out. And she passes it in to Shine Hall. Back to Bose. Bose comes on the left side down, goes in the middle. Trying to drip the whole team in again. Another pen crest foul. And it foul like it's on number 10, Emily Huggins. With the foul. So pen crest picks up two quick fouls. Oh, that was a dangerous pass. Shine Hall, back as she shoots. No good, rebound, and another foul. And rebound for Chester with number 12, Jemiah Muhammad, the freshman. Again, she's wearing another number today. She's wearing number 12. And she's at the line, she'll be shooting two. And she makes the first. Pencrest substitution comes in. That'll be number 23, Alex Bruce. And she replaces Gladu. Muhammad taking a second shot. She makes both. We're tied at two. Kershey brings the ball up, comes on the right side, now goes to the middle. Chester with a quick trap on her. And I can see the five second count, very surprised here. And Chester's playing on much like, and Chester forces a turnover. Pencrest comes to this contest with a record of four wins, one loss. Chester played their very first game yesterday. I'm talking earlier to Coach Marvin Dukes. They didn't even have a scrimmage. So yesterday was their first action, live action of any kind. And today they come out looking a much fresher and definitely very much more confident. We have 539 remaining in the first quarter. Chester will take it out underneath the basket. Muhammad takes it out. Oh, a steal. 
Yeah, by Alex Bruce. Pancras coming on the left side, Huggins. Huggins passes it. That's to Bruce. And an early Chester foul. That'll be on, looks like that'll be on Jemiah Muhammad. That'll be her first team's first. Another Pancras substitution, number two. A lot of Kershey. She's Kira's sister. And get the ball with Huggins. Run out, run the offense. Just like that play a little bit. Man to man. Oh. And a hard foul by the Lady Clippers. Number 25. Sinaja Hendley. That'll be her first team second. And trust me, with a foul like that, Pancras probably would definitely think twice about driving the lane. As live for Pancras is Alex Bruce. She misses the first. Like Marvin Dukes made a defensive adjustment. Let's see how that works out for him next time down court. Bruce is taking a second shot. And she misses both. And a follow-up basket for Pancrest's number 11, Bailey Garrison. Pancrest comes with the trap. Both try to, and she power drives past it. Good job. Swing to the left. To, oh, to Muhammad, but she loses it. And the layup for number 10, Emily Huggins. Pancrest is up now 6-2. to two. Number 11 with the ball of Lady Clippers. Good drive. Rebound Chester, Shine Hall, and she scores. Shine Hall with a follow up after a missed shot there by Shayana Snowden. Pancrest pulls it for three. It's no good. Oh, save. And a swat. And I tell you, live Chester hands today, and you see the difference with the D. Lady Clippers would take it side out. Both would take it out. She passes it into Muhammad. Pankers again set up with their trap. Muhammad pulls up a dribble. Off the Bose. Bose, ah! Passes a little too late. Steal it by Pankers' number 10, Huggins. The officials weren't sure who it was off, but they award the ball to Pankers. We have a Pancrest substitution. That'll be number 13, Kira Kershey returns. She replaces Huggins. So like head coach Larry Johnson's strategy so far is to keep running fresh bodies at Chester. Chester counts with a sub of their own. They come up with number 32, Rashara Kelly. And it drives to the basket, back to Pancras. Oh, didn't call that one. And Pancras shoots the air ball. That was number 13's Kira Kershey, who just came back into the contest with the air ball. Pancras again coming up with their trap. They actually set it up much higher than they did last time down. And Chester called the 32nd timeout. So they're definitely trying to get some size and get some speed for Pancras. And right now, Chester's size is inside is bothering them. 358 remaining in the first quarter. You're watching Chester Girls. Okay, we're back here. Live action. Chester takes out. And it's Snowden. Snowden throws the boast. Both drives. Pulls back out. Back to Snowden. Snowden swings to Muhammad. Set up nice pick man by Hall. Both gets it, shoots, misses. Rebound. Muhammad. Now Pancras gets the ball. 23. Alex Bruce. She pushes it up. Pancras on the break. And a layup number 25, Addison Bernhardt.
and a traveling violation. Chester has gotten through quite a few times, breaking the press with the dribble. Chester comes up with a sub, and that'll be that'll be number ten for Chester, Talia Smith. Both on the D, and again. Chester's quick hands and playing a man-to-man -to -man today. Both drives to the basket. And she's fouled. And that foul will be on Pancrest's number 25, Addison Bernhardt. That'll be her first team's fourth. Tanaja Bose. And now she'll shoot the second. She misses both rebound, Pencrest. And a steal by Chester. And a five of three quickly. Miss. Pencrest on the move. Number 13, Kirshie. Driving. Pulls it back out. Swings to number two. Back to Kirshie. She's a little happy feet in there. Not being called. And the basket is good. Just a foul number 10 to Leah Smith, her first team's third. Basket was good by number two. A lot of Kirchie. And she's at the line trying to, to complete the three-point play. She misses rebound, Muhammad. Muhammad to boast. On a steal. But it goes off Pencrest. That'll go off number 13, Kira Kirchie. Shine Hall gives it to Bose. Bose. Oh, Hall was struggling, but it was stolen by number two for Pencrest. And I foul. That'll be on. Tanaja Bose, her first team's fourth. So we're even in fouls. Lala Kirch, excuse me. Yeah, Lala Kirch is at the line. And she'll be shooting two. She misses the first. Chester's getting down there, breaking the press. But when they pull up, the open person is not there for them to get the pass off. They fixed that, but they'll make it an interesting ball game. Pankers with a shot, they missed. That was a rebound by Bruce. Bruce swings it back out. Ah, hustle by Bose. Ooh, the Hall was there, and I knew he was going to call that one. And she fires, fouls Kira Kirchy. That foul number two, Shine Hall, her first team's fifth. And subs coming in. Alex Bruce stays in. For Chester, we have number five, Sky Fryson. The give and go. And it's good. Alex Bruce, the layup. Pancrest leads 12 4. Muhammad comes on the left side. Muhammad throws the pass, gets it back, goes, shoots, and she scores. Nice move by the freshman, Jemiah Muhammad. And again, Muhammad with the rebound. Power dribbles out. Leaks it up to Shine Hall. Shine Hall. Get the Fryson. We have a jump ball. And it'll be possession Chester. Pancrest comes in with another substitution, number 11, Bailey Garrison. And number 10, Emily Huggins. <laughs> Muhammad, Muhammad looks, keeps her dribble. And good move there by the freshman again. Jemiah Muhammad with quick four points. Pentcrest leaks out early. 
pass, and Shari Hall the defense. Great hustle. Pecos would take it out, number 10, Huggins. Underneath their own basket. Chester's playing man. And a layup there for number 13, Kira Kershey. Pancrest leads 14-8. Just having a little difficulty getting up on the brakes. Woo, almost over and back there. We have a player control foul number 12, Jemiah Muhammad. A little push off. That would be the team's sixth foul. Chester now goes back to a 2-3 zone. Let's see if Pancrest can hit from the outside. If they have not shown they can. They swing the ball, number 10. Wings it back to Kershey. Kershey looks to dribble, sets it back up to Huggins. Huggins with the number 25, Addison Bernhardt. Her second basket of the game, 16-8. And Chester called a timeout. And they call a full timeout. And Talia Smith was having trouble with the press. 15.7 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. 16-8 Pencrest. Now we're back, 15.7's in the quarter. Ball remains with Chester. Sinatra Henley just checked back into the lineup for Chester. Ooh, that was a dangerous pass, but Hall gets it. Hall drives to the basket. Stolen from Pencrestes, but a traveling violation on number 13, Kira Kershey. So at 10.3, gives the ball back to Chester. They will have the ball underneath. Chester takes it out. And a shot. And it's good. Lady Clippers number five. Sky Fryson. And a steal. And that's the end of the first quarter here from the clip joint. Impressive quarter here by the Lady Clippers. They fight to get back, only trailing by five. We'll be going to the second quarter. Pancrest leads 16-11 here on cmpradio.net. cmpradio.net.
Okay, we'll start the second quarter here at the clip joint. Pancrest leads 16 to 11. Anna Gladue will take it out for Pancrest. Chester looks like they're going to a 2-3 zone. As Pancrest has realized that, and they just changed their play. Okay, number 13, Kira Kershey comes up the top. They're looking, swings it. And Kershey with a missed three-pointer. Rebound. Chester. That's going to be Shine Hall now has the ball. Dribbles through the middle. It's her own miscue. Oh, the steal, but Chester gets it right back. Smith. She gives it to Shine Hall. Shine Hall now dribbles the Pinecrest defense over the sky. And Sky with the sky. Three ball from the wing. Chester now only trails by two. Kershey brings up for Pancrest. And again. And Henley fought through that screen. Of course, he picks up the foul. And now that'll be Pancrest will be in now on the bonus. They'll be now shooting one and one. That'll be Anna Gladue at the line. So earlier when like Pancrest was in foul trouble, now it's caught up with Chester. And Gladue makes the first. Substitution comes in. Alex Bruce replacing Kira Kirchie. And rebound Henley. Let's go off to Smith. Oh, excuse me, that's Sky Fryson. Good pass. He hits Hall down the right side. And Hall goes to the bat. That was where Chester had success earlier, going to the basket. And that foul will be on number 21, Chloe Griffiths. That'll be the team's fifth. Shine Hall will go to the line for Chester. She will shoot two. She misses the first. She prepares for the second shot here. Jump ball, and that should go with Chester. Fitchers weren't sure, but I was. Smith would take it out. Sky Fryce and Sky looks back to Smith. Smith somehow tripped, but the sky, and it was a traveling violation. So Pinecrest will take the ball out. Get into Huggins. Huggins now will bring the ball up for Pinecrest. Chester getting back in their two three zone. And a steal. Sky Fryson dribbles. Up and it's stolen right back by Garrison. Swing it to Huggins. Huggins with the shot. No good. Rebound, Pancrest. Gladue. Back to Huggins. Huggins drives. And Huggins scores. So Chet had a little bit of trouble with both not on the floor. They held up point guard duties. Shine Hall with a nice move there, dribble right. Looks, give it to Sky Fryson. Sky with the push off, but ref didn't call it. Takes the shot, traveling again. And looks like Muhammad will be back in to replace Sky Fryson. So let's see if Chester stays in their zone, which they have done so far. Yes. Hawkins comes down from Pancras. She swings it. Huggins at the Bruce. Almost a steal by Hall. Huggins shoots. Kelly with the rebound for Chester. Muhammad now with the ball. Looks. And give it to Sean Hall. Sean Hall now will come on the left.
and a 10 second violation was called. And Hoggins has the ball for Pancrest. Chester stretches out there two, three a little bit. Bruce takes a shot, off. Rebound, Pancrest number 11. Garrison, but a foul. And that foul will be number 32 for Chester. Rashara Kelly. That will be her first, team's eighth. Bailey Garrison at the line. She'll shoot two. And she makes the first substitution. Kira Kershey comes back in, replacing Huggins. That seems to be Coach Johnson's strategy so far early, is to keep fresh bodies on the court. And Kelly with the rebound for Chester. I think Shine Hall got hurt on that pass. And she jammed her hand on the pass. Saw the injury. So you get an injury substitution. Number 11 will be coming back in. Shayana Snowden. And Shine Hall, look, she twisted her hand on that pass. Kelly's up with a little bit of pepper. Muhammad. And a rebound, go to Chester. Back to Pencrest. The shot, rebound, Chester Snowden. And it was off number five, Anna Gladu. So Chester would take it out to Leah Smith on the side, looking for Muhammad. Muhammad will come down the left side. And while it was stolen, but Snowden picks it up. The loose ball. She looks to run the offense. Passes to Sky Fryson. Fryson on the left wing, back to Snowden. Seems that like they're looking for Muhammad on this possession. And they find her. And she drives to the basket. It was blocked. But number five, Gladu. And number 13 comes down, Kira Kushi. And drives to number 11, who shoots. And it's good. Bailey Garrison with, with the basket. Pancrest stretches their lead to eight. 22-14. Back to Snowden. And Snowden goes out of bounds. They come a sub teacher for Pancrest. Number two, Lala Kirchie. So the Kirchie sisters are both on the court. And Kira, the one that shoots, misses. Smith with good hustle, and that ball will go off her. Kershey passes it to Bruce. Chester with the steal, Fryson. Stolen back by Kershey. That was Lila. Lila passes the 21, it's Griffiths. Because it's a kid with Kirchie. Back to a number 11, Garrison. And she's made two in a row. Prentcrest is now up by 10. And now the press is starting to bother Chester a little bit. And they're letting a rush. Lala Kirchie with the shot. And she was fouled. And that foul on Jemiah Muhammad. It's like to be her second team's ninth. And Bose comes back to the table like she'll be about to go in. She's been sitting a while. Well, I'll cut you this is the first. So now Jabos comes back in, replacing Muhammad. And 
and Kuchi misses both. Rebound, Boats. Ah, uh, Boats look, was looking for Sky. And we have a traveling violation on Pencrest. 2.57 remaining here in the first half. Here from the clip joint. Chester now trails by 10. And we pass in the Boats. Boats dribbles to the press. Stolen by number 11 and off the Kira Kirchi. She shoots and she scores on the layup. And again, Pinkers has stretched this trap. And it's really affected Chester. Both try to dribble, throw it again. Another steal. This time by Alex Bruce. Bruce comes up. Over the, just gets over the timeline. Delilah Kirchi. Kirchi her sister Kira. Kira to Garrison. And Garrison with the lay, with the layup. And an unforced turnover there. Looks like Chester's getting a little frustrated. And what they're going to have to do here is get the ball in the middle and relax a little. You can't get it all back with one shot. Probably a little breather here will help them. They sit them in a 2 3 zone. Kira Kirchie with the ball. She passes the right wing to Huggins. Stolen by Smith. Back to Huggins. Huggins to Bruce. Bruce shoots. She misses. Rebound. Boast. And a Pencrest foul. That foul will be on Bailey Garrison. So that's 16 fouls on them. Hopefully next one Chester will be shooting. Chester with 19 fouls from Pancrest will begin the double bonus next foul. Price keeps it in the middle. She looks up to Smith. Smith, ah, oh, thought Bus was going to cut. She didn't. Kira Kirchie going for a layup, and she scores. Snowden now comes down, run the offense. And it was off Snowden. It was like Tanaja Bos is a little expended and she's a little tired. They go up to hold off for the last a minute 38. Hershey comes up, runs the off on top of the key. She swings over to Huggins. On the right side. Pass it on Bruce in the box. Shot by Huggins. She misses. Bruce with the shot. And she makes it. So now Pankers has stretched this lead to 18 points. Sky Freisen out the ball, and it was stolen from her, from Alex Bruce. Good defense by the Clippers. Snowden with the ball. Snowden, oh, she couldn't, she couldn't get control of the ball. And it'll be Pankers' ball at 57.9. Emily Huggins would take it out. And she passed in to Kira Kirchi. But they were going to hold for one, but I guess not. Rather, the best is Garrison, and she scores. Now Chester's down 20. Sky Fryson gives it back to Smith. Smith comes on the left side. And a block. Chester will go to the line and shoot one and one. That foul on number 10, Emily Huggins. And that's the line for Chester would be number 10. To Leah Smith. She'll be shooting one and one. And it's good right now to get points while the clock is stopped. She misses about a rebound, Chester by Rashard Kelly. Pass it, but a steal by Garrison from Pancrest. She dribbles up, comes up the right side. Now they look they're gonna probably try to hold for one here. She fires Huggins on the right. Good steal there by Boast. Boast comes looking, comes down the middle. Boast looking. Snowden, the shot, misses. Rebound Boast. Zalea Smith gets it, passes it out to Snowden. Snowden shoots a three. Misses, but a good shot. Four seconds left. Kira Cushy's running, passes it to the Garrison. And good defense by Boast, so Garrison doesn't score. And that'll be into the first half here. 
from the clip joint. It'll be Pencrest 34, Chester 14. We'll be back for the second half, and you're watching Chester Girls Basketball, cmpradio.net. cmpradio.net. It's the station.
teams. Kira Kirchhoff at the line for Plant Quest. She makes the first as Muhammad comes out. And so Naja Henley comes back in. So big blow for Chester as Muhammad picks up her fourth. And Kira Kirchhoff makes both. Now puts up Pancrest by 22 points. Shine Hall now will bring the ball up for the Lady Clippers. And at the final, maybe there's an injury to both because I don't see her out there. Shine Hall runs the O. Shoots, takes a three. And she makes it. Three from top of the key. Shine Hall. Kira Kirchhoff brings it up the left side. Being hounded by Talia Smith. She looks to the right side. Bailey Garrison, leading scorer so far. And it's, it's Snowden coming up the right side for Chester. See, she, she takes a power dribble. Up, she loses it to Kira Kirchhoff. And she stepped out. Good trap there by Talia Smith. They would take it out right in front of the Chester bench. Again, see if I can get any information on both while she's not out there. Shine Hall swings it to Snowden. Snowden to the top. Swings it to Kelly. Kelly wasn't ready for it. I'm going to be a turnover. Oh, well, Chester maintains possession. Talia Smith will take it out. Snowden was right there. She didn't see her. And knocked out of mouth by Pancrest is number 10. Emily Huggins. Chester will take it out on the side of the corner to Leah Smith. Looks. Snowden swings it back to Smith. Smith back inside to Kelly. Kelly loses it. And Huggins has the ball. On the side, Kira Kirchi looks. Looks for Bailey Garrison. Garrison with the shot. And she pops. And that makes 13 points for Garrison. Shine Hall passes to Snowden. Snowden comes to the right side. Looks for Hall. Hall dribbles. Looks for Smith. Smith on the wing. Corner, excuse me. She shoots. Missed rebound there by Henley. Pencrest on the move. Huggins dribbles. Left-handed layup and she scores. Two quick baskets for Pencrest. They stretch the lead to 23. Snowden comes to the middle, looks. The Hall, Hall comes on the left side. Hall looks. She shoots. Henley with the rebound, oh she misses. Rebound with Smith. And she'll go to the line. That foul is probably on number 13, Kira Kirchhoff. Oh, correction, that foul's on number 21, Chloe Griffiths. So Talia Smith will shoot two for Chester. She misses the first. 6.08 here in the third period. Chester substitution. That'll be... Clayjara Cogman, number 14, her first action this season. Smith makes the second. If that Cogman name sounds familiar, she's in a long line of Cogmans who play here for Chester, boys and girls. And she's the latest addition. Snowden's up, comes up, and Cogman comes up, and she will foul number 21. So that foul number 14, Clayjara Cogman. She fouled Griffiths. Pankers will take it out underneath the basket. They, they ran an X play. Griffiths shoots and she scores. So Chester got caught on a mix up on the switch. Right now, Talia Smith will bring it on the right side. And she looks and she dribbles. And she's fouled by Huggins. So let's check Huggins' foul situation. That might be either her second or her third. So fouls are even right now at two apiece. And yeah, yeah, she's coming out, so that's probably around her second or her third. Coming in the game for Pancras will be Alex Bruce. So Smith will come out for Chester, and that'll bring in Sky Fryson. Nice pass for Sky. She passed it to Kelly. And Kelly was fouled on the shot. 
Good move to the basket there by Shine Hall to pass to Kelly. First of foul number five, Anna Gladue. That would be her third. So Pencrest getting some foul trouble. Rashara Kelly shoots the, and makes the first. Kelly had good inside position when she got that pass from Hall. And Kelly makes them both. Cogman with a good box out. And like Chester now will go man to man. And good hustle there by Snowden. Snowden with the power dribble. Snowden looks to pull up. And she will shoot a three. Oh, thought she made it, but you hit the net. And good hustle there by Cogman. Hall the shot. Hall scores for three from top of the key. And right now, like she has her eye on. Kira Kershaw brings up for Pancrest. She looks. And again. And that would be off. Bruce, again, Hall's come to play here in the second half. And right now, she seems to be the energy. Shine Hall and Snowden will bring some much needed energy. Hall will bring it up. Pancras is playing straight man to man. Shine probably the Snowden. Chess is down on the run, a little motion offense. Pancras in the man to man D. Snowden passes to the left wing. Oh, and a bad pass. Kira Kushi with the steal and the layup. And Chester will call a full timeout. So with 4.41 to play here in the third period. Okay, we're back to action. Pancras is now set up in a 2-2-1 trap. Coach Dukes called the play to break that. Bose is now back into the lineup for Chester. And she did have an injury, that's why she wasn't out there. And we see a wrap on her left leg. And they need her out there badly. She's still limping a little bit. Shine Hall, pull up on a dribble. Up the sky, Fryson, back to Bose. Bose driving her right down the waistline. Oh, tough. Rebound there for number 21, Chloe Griffiths. Kira Kutchi would bring it down. She looks, looks to the left wing. And number five gets it, and she scores. And that'll be Anna Gladue. So Pancras is looking here to really blow this wide open. Both. Nice pass to Sean Hall. Hall, back to Sky. Sky. She shoots from the sky. And that's a three. And Chester has a three point game going right here. They get it big down to 20. One thing, if nothing else, Chester girls are not afraid to shoot the three point basket. I'll have to get their percentages later, but they've been doing pretty well with that between uh, Hall and Fryson. And a steal by Hall. I tell you, she's come with the energy <laughs> this third quarter. 
And she's really been playing hard. Hall will take it out. Pancras sets up in the 2-3 zone. And Cogman, good power move, and she's fouled. And she's fouled by number 23, Alex Bruce. So Clay Jara Cogman at the line, she will shoot two. And Chester will probably set up the man-to-man -man again. That seemed to be working. And he was forced to play Pancras. They play faster than he wanted to. Cogman misses the first. Oh, runs out, rebound. Pancrest. Kira Cushy brings it up. She swings it right side. Looks for Bailey Garrison. Garrison to number 21. She misses. That was Griffiths. Bruce misses. And a traveling violation on Chester. Great hustle on the rebound. Again, should have known Shine Hall. They look around. Bruce swings it around to Kira Kushi. Kushi shoots a three. And it's up, no good. Misses. Bruce with the rebound. Back to Kushi. Back to Bruce. Bruce from the wing. She misses. And again, who gets the rebound? Shine Hall. Hall will bring it up. She passes it to Bose. Bose will now come on the right side. Again, here come Pancrest with massive substitutions at the table. And they see Chester's trying to make a little run here. Bose is trying to attack. She's looking. And she travels. Wholesale substitutions for Pancrest. Right now, Bose is really struggling with that leg. And she probably would be better off right now being a decoy of the offense and run everything through Shine Hall and Fryson. Okay, they swing it around. Bruce with the shot. And she makes it. As Pancras at times looked very good running that motion offense. We haven't seen him run it in a while. And they're coming back with their trap. Bose looking. Stolen. Number two, Lala Kershey. She's fouled, and she's fouled by most. And Lala Kershey will go to the line. She'll shoot two. Chester does have a sub at the table. And Kershey misses the first. Substitute for Chester, that would be number one. Zane Granberry. Hope I'm, hope I'm pronouncing her first name correctly. Granberry's first time in the game. Kirsty misses both. Rebound, both. Both looks for Hall. Hall, Granberry. And tipped out by Huggins. Chester Ball. 150 remain in the third quarter. Sky Freising will take the ball out for Chester. Hall gets it, stolen from her, and that will stay with Chester. Hall was open, but she was seen late. Again, Sky Fryson will take it out, and she will give it to Hall. Hall gives it back to Fryson. Fryson fires for three. Good shot. Oh, it rims out. Like Granberry will put a little pressure. Good defense there. Granberry on the move. She's rolling. She's going. And she scores! So Granberry comes in, scores her first basket. And now Chester back in the 2-3 zone. Huggins passes it to Lala Kershey. Lala Kershey brings it around to the screen. Huggins shoots. Huggins makes the three. And Bos will come. Come down the right side. Bos dribbles and it's stolen. Huggins with the ball. Huggins pulls out. And they run a motion offense. 
and a traveling violation. Good defense by Clajara Cogman. Forced Griffin to think about that. Number four comes in, uh, Eva Centalupo. Her first time in the ball game. Price and President of Boast. Boast of Granberry. And Granberry was fouled. That'd be Pencrest's 15 foul. Ball's in the boast. Boast is holding. She's looking. Looks for Fryson. No good. Stolen. And Lala Kershey will now have the ball. She goes to the basket. And she misses. But she's fouled. And Granberry with the foul. That'll be her first foul. Team's fourth. Lala Kirchie will go to the line. She will shoot two. Thank you. And Granberry with the foul for Chester. Her first. Team's fourth. And Lala Kirchie misses the first. 27.3 main in the third quarter. Well, of course, now with the second. She makes. Cogman will take it out for Chester. Cogman to Granberry. Granberry looks. And Chester's in danger of a 10 second. They got to get it out of there. And a 10 second violation. So 15.1. And Pencrest will take it out underneath their own basket. Coach Deuce has called for a 2-3 defense for Chester. And a rebound, and Bose is out. And she's going to go to the basket all the way, and she scores. And here comes Huggins. Huggins comes out for Pencrest. She fires a three. And it's no good. And that's the end of the third period. Pancrest leads 52-30. And you're watching Chester Girls Basketball on cmpradio.net. cmpradio.net. It's the station.
I think number 25 came in, Addison Bernhardt. Shine Hall, Pancras with a trap, stolen. Kira Kershey to her sister. And the sister connect scores for Pancras, Kershey sisters. Shine gives it up to Sky Fryson. Sky Fryson will bring it up. Sky looks for Granberry. Granberry like she was ready to launch, but she thinks better about it. Sizing up Kirchy. Swings it to Hall. Hall fires. Misses. And that would be off of. Smart play there by Granberry. And the ball stays with Chester. She swings it to Hall. Hall on the right side. Now goes to the middle. Looking. Gives it to Cogman. Cogman back to Boast. Boast drives in the middle of the lane. Boast gets her own rebound. Swings it back up to Granberry. And a jump ball, and it'll probably go to Pencrest. Granberry probably should have launched that one. But again, team player she is. We're looking for more. Open shot. Oh, Kira Kershey comes down. She's at the top. Bose is on her. Swings it to her sister, Lila Kershey. Lila goes left. Back to her sister, Kira. Kira swings inside to Bruce. And Bruce misses. Somehow, Bernhardt gets the rebound. And tip and steal, Bose. Oh, and she blows the bunny. And no foul call. Okay. I guess no blood, no foul. Kira Kirchy sets it back up, goes up top. Looks for his sister Lalo. Lalo on the right. Both on her. Dribbles. Goes through. Steal Granberry. Granberry. Oop, and she goes between two Pencrest Lady Lions. And she's going to the basket. And ball was tipped out. And that'll bring a quick sub for Pancrest, number 11, Bailey Garrison. Also for Chester, number 12, returning, Jemiah Muhammad. Let's see if Muhammad can stay out of foul trouble. She does have four. Sky Fryson, boast. Boast, the shot. No good. Rebound, Muhammad. Up. She scores. And back in the game quickly, Muhammad. Scores right away. That's eight points for her. Alex Bruce now for Pancras looks. Bernhardt, steal by Hall. I tell you, Shine Hall has played one heck of a game a day. And again, this is Chester's only their second game. For Pancras, this is their sixth game. Chester didn't even have any scrimmages. So this is the only second time they've had live action against anybody else besides themselves. Pancras will take it out, Kira Kirchner for basket. Chester's back in the 2-3 zone. They look. 21 back to. They forced it to Kirchie. 21 Griffith was forced that. And number four, Southern Lupo. Back to Kirchie. Kirchie now calls out a play. Bulls is on her. Forces a five-second count. She drives. And a turnover. Pick which one you want. Apple, cherry, don't matter. It was a turnover. Muhammad takes it out. She gives it to Sky Fryson. Fryson looks to Hall. Hall back to Fryson. Back to Muhammad. And that's the way they should have booked the press earlier. Muhammad looking to go to the basket. And she goes. And she scores. The freshman, Jamaya Muhammad. That is her 10th point. Chester creeps back again within 20. Kira Kershey dribbles. And that's off her leg. Good defense by Boast. And that's three straight turnovers by Pencrest. The goal right now to get this underneath 20. Shine Hall will dribble up. Pencrest looks like they're in a man defense. I guess they're looking to stop Hall. Granberry brings it back around. Brings it back to Hall. Hall looks. Muhammad. Muhammad power move. Drives to the basket, she misses. No one follows it up. Rebounds, Hunter Lupo. 
As Will brings it down, she brings it to Griffiths. Griffiths with the shot. No good. Bruce, no good. Rebound, Muhammad. And Granberry. And you know Granberry's a little speedster. Oh, she was great. Launch up. Sky Fryson. The Hall. Oh, no good. Rebound, Pencrest, number 11. Garrison. Garrison brings it down the left side. Swing it to set the Lupo. Just missed by both. Kirsty inside of Bruce and a layup. So Granberry would now bring it up. Granberry looks. Lost the ball, didn't see it. And a layup number 11, Bailey Garrison. And just to call the time. Three minutes, 17 seconds remaining. Full timeout for Chester. So we got 317 remaining here in the game. Pancras is up 22. This will be the last game here for the calendar year 2021. And we'll see you back here on CMP Radio. They will be back with the boys. They will take on Bartram next Saturday here at the Clip Joint. And the boys haven't been in action for a while since they last played Archbishop Carroll. I'll have to find out where the girls are playing next. But I expect that definitely will get better because, like I said, I like what I see with the hustle. Like I said, they're young. Most of these guys, if not all of them, none of them played varsity basketball last year. So they're learning on the job. Okay, they're back on the floor. We go with Muhammad, Hall, Snowden. Price and Boast. Those are the five Chester players on the court. Pancrest are going with Santalupu, Huggins, Griffiths. They have a new player in the game, number 32, Tess Marges. Snowden looks for shoots a three, and she scores a three from the wing. Huggins brings it down for Pancrest, and she looks goal. Outside of Griffiths, back to Marges. Marges takes a shot, she misses. Rebound, Chester, Hall, and she was fouled. And a foul on number 21, Chloe Griffiths. So that would be Pancrest's sixth team foul. Chester with four. Shine Hall will now bring it up. And clock to stop. So 2.38 remaining. Both pass in the hall. Back to Bose. Bose looking for Fryson. Turnover. Marshes gets it, and now it's back to Huggins. Huggins will bring it down for Pancrest. Huggins looks for Santa Lupo. Lupo back to Huggins. Huggins misses the layup. And Muhammad, the power move. The power dribble to the left side. She sees Snowden. Snowden with a three. Off. Rebound Bose. And she was fouled. And it'll probably be on number 32. Yeah, foul on Tess Marges. That is her first. And Tanaja Bose will go to the line. She'll shoot two. And Chester trailing by 21. Pancrest substitutions. As Kirchie comes back in. One with number, I think number 11. Both Smiths, both. I guess we'll bring the ball up. Lala Kirchie knocked off her leg. Tess Martis gets it. Back to Huggins. Huggins brings it back out. 
Again, they're running the motion offense. Huggins to the basket, and she scores on a driving layup. Shine Hall will bring up to Chester to Muhammad. Muhammad goes left side, driving to the basket. Euro steps, misses. Lala Kershey with the ball. She comes left side. Muhammad has four fouls, but at this point, I don't think it matters. And again, Penquist will run some clock here. Run a little motion. They cut. 25, Bernhardt. She swings it back out to Huggins. Huggins drives to the basket. She misses. Gets her own rebound. Goes to the other side, and she scores. So we now have one minute. Shine Hall will bring the ball up for Chester. Both goes, and she was fouled. That's probably on Marjus again. Oh, no, that was on Bernhardt. So Tanaja Bush will go to the line. She'll shoot two. And she misses the first. No subs at the table. So I guess the 10 you see on the court will finish this one out. Both up for her second. Shoots. She makes the second shot. And again, Pancras like they'll run the motion again. Chester's now in the man. Freisen on Huggins. Huggins drives, passes it. Burn hard. And I'm blocked by both, but she got it with the body. So both with the foul. 25, Addison Bernhardt will shoot, and she'll shoot two. So Bernhardt with the first. And she misses. And now she'll attempt the second. And she makes the second one. Well, just are coming with 40 seconds left. Bolts brings it up. It just gets over the timeline. Comes down the right side. Looks from Sky. Fryson. Sky. Shoot from the sky. Didn't make it. But Snow with a great rebound. Back to Hall. Hall back to Snowden. Snowden fires. Misses. Rebound Muhammad, and she scores. I tell you, she's an impressive freshman. Coach Dukes has a nice future with this team he has. They're young. Steal there by Bose. She's going to steal and the layup. Very good. Again, girls not quitting, and that's what you want to see. And that's the ball game here from the clip joint. Perrin Chris will win this one 63-42. Again, fine alley. Again, it's only their second game. Chester falls to 0 and 2. Pancrest improves to 5 and 1 here on a young 21-22 season. Again, I'd like to thank Pierre for having me out here, doing the games for you guys, and I plan to be back here to do more. Also, the boys' action, as we'll be back here on the 8th of January, when Chester boys will take on Bartram. Again, a fine game by the ladies, but they fall, losing by 21 to Pencrest team from out of the Central League. I'm James Peach Howard. Again, we're going to see you when I see you. Happy New Year. And again, you watch Chester Girls Basketball from cmpradio.net. We out.